And what a liar the Jehovah's Witnesses are. The Washtua organization is a big lie. I have always thought about them churches as places for the demon. Sometimes or during field service when I, I would walk past some of these churches singing and all that. And I'll say to myself, man, look at them churches. All they do all day is sing and sing. They don't even learn a thing. Until I started attending churches. And I found out that the churches sing and dance as much as they teach. As much as they teach the real word from the Bible, whether you believe the Bible is the <laughs> authentic word of God or not. But I've been blown away by what um, I have come to see in my few times in the churches that I have been attending. That the Jehovah's Witnesses lied. They lied about everything. They lied about the churches with big ego. They lied about the churches. Uh, they lied about the special seat uh, kind of stuff. Though I know um, uh, pastors, uh, they can have a, a special seat for the pastor and the wife. Um, basically, the church I have attended, everybody sits wherever they want, want, except for the choir that might have a special place they want to uh, sit out or stand uh, behind, just behind the altar, so to reach up quickly when they are called upon to sing. You know, that, that's the way I sit. And I have been blown away by the humility displayed by uh, these places I have been. You know, I met a guy at the car park and I was trying to park my car. And I was having difficulty uh, because I needed to uh, go in the reverse and pull up to a very narrow space and it was really too much for me uh, uh, because I didn't want to bash them expensive cars <laughs> at a church you know though my car is a little bit <laughs> expensive <laughs> um, well so he offered to drive you know and I pulled the car where it should be parked. And I was blown away by his courtesy, uh, the way he approached me, uh, and the the way he kept saying, sir, sir, you know. You know, I just felt that, you know, they, they just make you feel big. And when you like, oh, man, come on, wait a minute. This is supposed to be the devil, the false religion, uh, Christendom, as they will call it. Now, Christendom has come to denote uh, something that connotes negativity. When you hear churches of Christendom, you know, like churches of the devil. So that, that's the way um, the watch the organization uh, have uh, uh, portrayed uh, them churches so I, I I get up there 
and I'm greeted by the ushers and I, I'm ushered into my seat like a king. I see all I, I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words to describe how humane those people are. You know, how drunk, unlike Jehovah's Witnesses, all you see is false humility just for people to see. Now, I saw genuine, genuine humility in these places I have been. Now, they are serving the people not because they wanted anybody to see that they were doing something. They were just doing it because that's the culture. That's who they are. They, they were not faking it. But Jehovah's Witnesses, you see a guy so nice. I, no, I, I met this church uh, people outside the church as well. Some have even offered to pay my transportation fare on days that I didn't drive. And they will offer to pay my train. I've seen them behave outside the church. Unlike a Jehovah's Witness uh, attendant at the parking lot, that would be all nice and holy. But when you see him outside, he's not that nice. He's only doing that for the camera. You know what I mean? Just for people to see uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, this is who they are. They're very accommodative. They love everyone. They, they have love amongst themselves. Yeah, to some extent, I, I wouldn't contest that, but I'm tempted to say that the love Jehovah's Witnesses display is false love, conditional love, very superficial, artificial display of affection. It's not real. Because when you switch channel and see Jehovah's Witness in another phase, you, you see that it's not that brother you saw up there uh, on the podium or that attendant and all that. Well, uh, just my experience uh, uh, in church. Uh, the way I really feel about these people, the genuine way they related to me and everything that I've heard about these people, they don't teach the word of God, you know, no, they do all of that much more better than the Jehovah's Witnesses. They, they just have time to preach and dance, which keeps the congregation active and alive something lacking in the Jehovah's Witnesses and I would say that the religion of the Jehovah's Witnesses is the most boring religion on the planet. Here's a clip of uh, some dancing uh, before uh, the gospel. No, the gospel. I didn't really record the teaching and all that but I'm fascinated by the choir and most times I just want to uh, videotape, uh, have some footage about, uh, excuse me, footage of, you know, what, you know, what them choir, ha you know, choir has to offer really, just enjoy it. <laughs> 